We're back. Uh, this is the route where we spent like 49 hours or something in the end trying to shiny hunt for Cupcake. We have everyone on the team reunited too. It, it, it's the gang. It's all the people we care about the most. And because we have one slot left on the team, I thought we would make a very special late game edition. One of the most highly anticipated, uh, one of the most popular reoccurring Pokemon we have seen across this entire run. I am, of course, talking about a lowland Doug Drio. Uh, legendary stream where we caught 150 of these in one go. We're finally getting on the team. The popular reoccurring Pokemon that is a lowland Doug Drio. <laughs> oh, we do also have this if we want to use it. I got a shiny Lycan Rock. <laughs> Amazing. You actually completed your Pokedex. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Pokedex. May this great accomplishment be celebrated by all. This is a little gift from me simply because you've made me so happy. We got the shiny charm. In my off time, outside of the streams, I completed the Pokedex. The Isle of Armor Pokedex is currently one spot away. I have to evolve Cub Fu still. And I completed the Crown Tundra Pokedex. Congratulations, you finally did it. You completed your Crown Tundra Pokedex. Some dramatic fanfare. 50 rare candies. Three gold bottle caps. That is insane. Original style replica state crown. Next up as well to just a show. We caught pretty much every legendary Pokemon that was in this region. Um, so we have the birds. We have all the Reggie now. We have the Musketeers. We have Keldeo. Uh, I also got every TM in the game. I completed the battle tower and uh, I got like the final reward for that. I have like a gold bottle cap. So I think what we're going to start things off with is the Reggies. Because there is another event that now triggers now that you have all five. There seems to be a faint glow coming from the den. Do you want to check it out? Here we go. This is the final legendary challenge. <laughs> Reggie Gigas. Uh, we're pulling all the stops here. I, I have an item I have saved. Okay, use a cluster of max mushrooms. This raises all my stats. He's using drugs. Look, we need them, okay? I'm pretty sure this is like the strongest Pokemon in the game. If we can kill it before the slow start goes through, we'll be all right. Well, that was a crit, actually. Cupcake is tanking this. Oh god, those drugs are really good. Nullified stat changes and abilities. Okay, that oh that makes us significantly more frail. Regigigas finally got his act together too. Thank God he had to recharge there. Oh, oh no. Just you just gotta live the Giga Impact. That that's fine. That did a scary amount of damage. The Titan has been defeated. Cupcake has killed God. No, I'm pretty sure God was Peter Griffin. The Peter Griffin fight was so much harder. Like, we struggled so much with that squirrel in comparison to this guy. God love him, he has a minus attack nature. Um, that's- that, that's act- that's god awful. We actually have to finish the Isle of Armor quest line. Uh, because we kind of just abandoned it because we couldn't use Cupcake before. So we need to actually bring out Kufu again, and we need to finish here. So this is the Tower of Water. Do you want to forsake the path of darkness and follow the path of water? Uh, sure, hydration is important. Let's go. We have to fight him himself. Oh! Okay, he's a little more intense. I wonder where most of the animation budget went. Like, this guy is moving so much more than any other character we've seen. Well, that did more damage than his super effective hit on me. Uh, let's just do that twice. <laughs> he's getting pumped. And he's dead. Well, that was straightforward. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this trial. He never made it to either tower. He got lost along the way. And then he became the unbeatable champion. And did you know he had a Charizard? Go and show, show Cub Fu the scroll of waters. Cub Fu is ready now. What if you just leave? You just don't evolve him? <laughs> I think we do need to evolve it. We need to finish the Pokedex. This is the last one. This is the last Pokemon we need. We got it. Cub Fu evolved into Urshifu. Press B! <laughs> 
So if I check this now, the Pokedex is complete. We've got everything. Every Pokedex is complete. You've not completed the Curry Dex? <laughs> no one cares about the Curry Dex. An original replica style gold crown. And the Mark Charm. A mysterious and unique charm that increases the chance of fighting a Pokemon with a Mark. It's not something everyone can do, thank you so much. I don't think we've looked at Marks, um, but similar to like how a Pokemon can be shiny, you can catch a Pokemon with a Mark, and if you catch a Pokemon with a Mark, and you send it into battle, I believe it has a unique title uh, when it's thrown out. Yeah, Verizion here got a Mark. So this is the Rainy Mark, a Mark for Sodden Pokemon. Okay, so Jigglypuff, go Verizion the Sodden. See, so you can get like odd titles for your Pokemon. Replica State Crown, and then Replica Gold Crown. Oh my God. Oh God, he's back. Welcome back, Boris. Up, what are you doing here? Surprise and nicely done, Boris. That's just the reaction I was hoping for. Well, I mean, I, can I redo my reaction? Hop, what are you doing here? Hoppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out on the Isle of Armor. Where's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling them you should stay here at the dojo. Everybody's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master Dojo. <laughs> Even Mustard is implying that he hates Hop as a character. All right then, Master Mustard, you've twisted my arm. Hope you don't regret it, because I'm staying. I regret it. Which reminds me, Boris. I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Cub Fu, or really it's Evolution Urshifu. The truth is the lovable rascal is capable of Gigantamaxing too. But it's a bit tricky because it really can't stand the taste of Max Mushrooms. There's a certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor though, that'll make even Urshifu uh, gobble up a bowl of Max Soup. <laughs> it's drugs! <laughs> oh, I've forgotten what it is, oopsie doopsie! <laughs> You're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister, so get cracking. Oh god. I've really got no rapidash in this. Okay, you're just you're just inserting Pokemon instead of animals at this point. Just stop it. Just stop it with this. Yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Maybe we need nectar made by some Pokemon that look like flowers and plants. And if we're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, then I reckon there might be lots in a forest. I, can I not just give it honey? I have a lot of honey in my inventory. Here's 20 tree chairs. Like, is this not, is this not good enough? Doesn't that petal seems to be acting a bit strange? Oh no, is it? It looks sort of sad. It looks a bit lost. Has it lost its parents? Oh no! <laughs> Pokeball, go! Let's catch it! Do you have the special honey? I need some for my bear. Is this some sort of nectar from your flower, Lilligant? It's like it knows. Here's the drugs. See you later now. Slurp. Hop, why are you drinking it? I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. This isn't for you, Hop. Why are you drinking it? There, it's an apple. How is this apple getting away so quickly? It, it's an apple. Boris, we've got to find that apple. What an inconspicuous looking berry tree. I wonder where apple could have gone. Ouch, the apple clocked you right on the head. Uh, Boris, is your head feeling a bit moist? <laughs> no one says this. That's gotta be Applin's nectar on you. Oh, no, don't drink it off my head, Hop. But is Applin's nectar sweet enough for a Shifu? No, I don't like where this is going. I don't, no, don't, don't you slurp my hair. I don't think you describe it as sticky exactly. Sir, I'm gonna have to call the police. Whoa, a venipede. I don't see one of those every day. They're, they're very common on the island. Cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. <laughs> it's like, Hop, you wanna sample that one next? <laughs> Give that one a taste, see what happens. What we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. Something like honey, pretty much at the offset. It was established that we are looking for honey. We ended up not looking for honey, and now it's a revelation that what we need is honey. <laughs> the real question is, because they probably still print it like a walkthrough strategy guide for this game. Why would anyone ever need it? I, I can't imagine a world where like you get so stuck playing this game, but, like I I I gotta consult the guide. That's because they were made for Leon. <laughs> yeah, Leon just forgot to read the strategy guide. That's how he got lost. Are we gonna shake another tree and fight a boss? There's a cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? I think. 
we've disturbed the bees. <laughs> ah yes, the, the noise that all bees make, that is beep beep, beep beep. Look out, Hop! There's a truck in the tree! Well, here's the Vespa Queen. Let's fight the Queen Bee. Oh god, this one seems... This one seems like stronger than Regigigas, which is a bit worrying. It's just the guys in the trees that are the strongest enemies in the game. This should not be as powerful as it is. It's also got like a fighting type, like, move that raises attack, which is really bad for us. Oh my god, it's killing us. I I need to use the drugs. Oh, it just nullified our stat changes. No, <laughs> she said no drugs. This is stronger than Peter Griffin. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, what do we do? It's getting too powerful. <laughs> I don't think I can switch Cupcake back in. Real, it, it's gotten too powerful. It's attack or oh my god. Go Cookie. We gotta hit it with Stone Edge. Oh, that works. <laughs> the aftershocks of the battle caused a strange comb of honey to fall from above. You obtained a comb of max honey. Well, it's been real, Boris, but I think you've learned just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. A body press. Oh, let that be a reminder, a single slip could cost you everything. Okay, Mustard, there's no need to like rub it in right now. I'm doing my best. Close combat. Oh, God. Oh, come on, Cupcake. She's still alive. That's two down. Clangorous soul. Attack rose, defense, special. I. That did hurt it. Wait, keep using it. Keep using it. Okay, I have to hope that I can't just one shot kill me. But it's taking a lot of damage. Okay, we. We have to chance living it. Come on. Oh, it's just gonna kill itself! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Why have you done this? <laughs> oh, that could have been scary. Yeah, here it is. He's got an Urshifu. Okay. Oh, it's also the dark type one, so we can use Max Knuckle. That'll buff our attack further. That that is good. Tank it, cupcake. Oh, beat it down! <laughs> Max Knuckle, it's gonna hit hard. It's gonna hit hard. No, oh, that's fine. <laughs> wow, that that really isn't that strong. Uh, I'm glad I went with the water or she. <laughs> Peter Griffin was still stronger. The bee, I think, was stronger than that one. <laughs> the apprentice surpasses her master. A true moment of pride for the master. You deserve a very special league card from me. <laughs> Here's my trading card. Remember, kids, winners use lots of drugs. <laughs> I just want to see how I'm doing here as well. So I collected a lot of watts in my off time and I donated them to the dojo. 506,000. I need another 293,000. I don't know what that reward actually is in terms of gathering the watts. If you complete it, you can fight honey. Can you? Oh god, do we have to do that one too then? I have to talk to Dig and Pa. Uh, I can d he can dig up some watts for seven pieces. Sometimes he gets a streak and he just gives you like hundreds of thousands of watts. So what I'm hoping is he gets like the spurs at the end, where he just decides he's gonna dig constantly. He didn't get it. I'm gonna miss out on all these other nice rewards I could be saving for, but this will give us two more chances. We're gonna try gamble it like twice more. We have two more goes to get the spurt. Come on, just keep going forever. He got it! Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Okay, this is rare when he gets this, right? Are you guys ready for the sequence? He can keep digging. Oh, we've hit the big time. Feels like I can think of a watt tro trove like I haven't seen in ages. Here goes. Here we go. He's getting the watts. Gambling has paid off once again. Digging Dragon Claw. He's got... There's 50,000 watts. I've dug up 220,000 watts. <laughs> Oh, he's still going too. If <laughs> we get a few more. Yeah, 265,000 watts. Pretty good, if you ask me. Gambling's paid off once again. You think you're ready for me, Boris? I'm about to blow your mind. Why is the way she talks incredibly unsettling? 
<laughs> yeah, there is something... Uh, there is something unnerving about her speech, isn't there? It's Daisy. <laughs> oh, now I really want to kill her. God, it does actually look like Daisy. <laughs> the blade is a little scary. Never mind. Wait! It might be able to hit us first this round. And it forgets that it knows fighting type attacks. That's unfortunate. That could have very easily killed us with a close combat, but... An attempt was made. The tension that comes when it's down to the wire, this is where it gets fun. She's got a blast toise. G-Max Cannonade. Oh god. It's str I'm just str straight up getting shot. Cupcake is going phase two. <laughs> yeah, Cupcake just tanks everything now. Like, you just can't beat her. She's too powerful. The strongest Pokemon in the entire region is just this sheep. Okay. Isle of Armor is now beaten. Hello, hello, you there? This is Boris's Rotom phone, right? Yes. Brilliant. I asked Hop for your number. I'm glad he didn't pull anything funny, like giving me the wrong one. Oh, sorry. Guess I should have said who was calling you, eh? It's me, Leon, the unbeatable champion. Coming over the Windon Stadium, and I'll tell you all the details. Hang up on him. <laughs> I'm not available right now. Okay, here we are. Everyone is gathered. Hop is here too, unfortunately. I've spent my whole life battling with myself to try to become the greatest trainer. And then I saw how Boris grew so strong by competing against my little brother. I'm thinking I want to bring even more thrilling battles to our wonderful Galar region. So for both these reasons, I've called you all here today to tell you that... I'm declaring the Galarian Star Tournament open. The Galarian Star Tournament will be an elimination tournament in the multi-battle format. I want all of you here to pair up with the strongest partner you can think of. Then pull your power and work together to try to win your way through the tourney. Oh, there's a final tournament! You know what? Bede is an asshole, so I want him to be our, our friend here. Partner with you, why would I do that? I can't crush you in a battle if we're on the same side now, can I? Oh, he won't partner with us! Hey, if you haven't settled anyone, why don't we team up ours? Okay, I guess it's Marnie. Rockin' it's decided then. We've already settled on a partner. Oh, <laughs> poor Hop! Hop does not have a partner right now, does he? Allow me to introduce our entrance. Hop is with Opal. Oh, poor Hop. He, he probably didn't want to be with Opal. Oh, no. Hop Hop was uh, the last kid at school to be picked for the soccer team. Oh, you've gone through everyone else in the class. And by default, uh, Hop has been paired up. Okay, here we go. Galarian Star Tournament Round 1. We have one more series of battles. Our po both our Pokemon look like they don't belong here. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Marty's off to a bad start. Okay, so we have to go quick and start eliminating them. Otherwise, it's gonna be Cupcake versus two in one go. So get Galoseopod down. We got we gotta start making headway. I don't want to use the Dynamax yet, because they'll have one later. Thankfully, emergency exit means it will lose its buff. It doesn't get to stay in the battle long. Go on, Marnie! Pull your weight! Oh, God! <laughs> Marnie, your Pokemon aren't doing well! Everyone can Dynamax right now. I- No, I- I can't! Oh, God, you gotta wait for your turn! Oh, no! Uh... <laughs> Marnie's gonna Dynamax! Come on, Marnie! She's taking it away from me! I wanted to do that! <laughs> It's only one Dynamax at a time, but can I still Dynamax later? Will it charge for me again? No, it won't. Great, so we just gotta fight their Dynamax Pokemon later now without one of our own. Oh no. First impression- Oh god! Well, it's all down to me. Okay, Dreadnought. Milo can Dynamax now. Ah, that's great, Milo. Wait! They just didn't do it! <laughs> Why was it still Milo's turn? Milo lost all his Pokemon! <laughs> well, okay, I guess we just win. Round two. Another two gym leaders, let's go. Oh, they've got new Pokemon too. Yeah, of course. Oh, that just transforms into Dark type attack? What type was that before? That's pretty good. Okay, I should pro- I can use the Dynamax now. Uh, it's probably in my best interest to use it, because I think we can just kill a Pokemon each round now. Come on, Cupcake! They're Dynamaxing as well. Okay, we made the right call. Oh, good. 
Marnie has the right idea too. We gotta take out Lapras real quick. You're doing amazing, Marnie. Lapras defeated. Oh, I don't even need to do anything here. My god. Okay, finish the job. Jesus Christ. Morpeko is out for blood. It just killed everything. <laughs> we didn't even need to like hit the last few there. But this is it folks, the final battle. Who will seize glory? Will Boris and Marnie make it to the top or will Pierce and Ryan be the ones to triumph? So is this the last round? Like we don't fight Leon in the final or anything. It's just between the two of us. Oh, we get a unique battle theme. Here we go. Okay, uh, I don't know what the best way to work through their team is yet. Uh, I think if we get the Scun Tank, because that can learn Explosion, I believe. Headbutt it down. Oh, uh, wait, the Sandstorm will kill it, it's okay. Okay, thanks Raihan, you're, you're actually helping us out here. Okay, what's next? He's got a Sandstorm team, but he didn't, like, consult Pierce with this. Which means that, like, all of his team seems to be weak to it. Oh god, he's not taking any prisoners. He's just using an earthquake as well. <laughs> he's actively killing his teammate. Wait, no, no, he hasn't even got like sandstorm resistant Pokemon on his own team. Like, Raihan, what are you doing? He's brought a Gudra. That's weak to the sandstorm. Raihan is throwing. And this is like the final battle of the game, too. This might be the last time we see like Dynamax Cupcake. One final time. Let's annihilate him. God love him, he didn't even Dynamax. <laughs> it's dead. Oh yeah, Pierce doesn't Dynamax, does he? The time to win this and become the true Galarian star. He's got a Gerald on for his final. We just gotta punch it. Oh, that didn't do it. We'll get it on the next hit, it's fine. Oh, never mind. That's it. <laughs> We've won. Galarian star tournament. There you have it, ladies and gents, the results of the final round. Go high. Uh, Boris does not want to wave that long. <laughs> Just one wave will do. Oh, it's an awful shame to have, have to end it after all the fun it's been. Which is why I'm pleased to announce that the Galarian Star Tournament will continue from this day on. It never ends. Let's have the Maximizers play us off. Who are the Maximizers? Oh! Oh no, I remember them now. <laughs> We've done it. We've beaten everything in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Every gym challenge, every tournament, every secret challenger. We completed the Pokedex, explored all of the DLC. We've talked to Ball Guy on numerous occasions. As far as I'm concerned, we've done everything we can with our shiny Wooloo. VGC with the shiny Wooloo. Now we go competitive, we start playing in tournaments. It's kind of mad that we, we've been playing this game for a year now. Today is the one year anniversary of Pokemon Sword and Shield. I didn't think like, uh, like from then that, that, you know, we would be playing this game all this time on. I didn't think that we would go the shiny Wooloo, uh, like hunting route and you'll have this whole challenge playthrough this entire time. But this is the end of the challenge. Cupcake has conquered the world. You got a sport uniform. One million dollars. <laughs> Oh, it's Ball Guy as well. You're on a real roll, champion. Let me offer my ultra great congratulations. You obtained a hundred Pokeballs. <laughs> Ball Guy, why? And we can check our league card now too. We have our three crown stamps. I know they're hard to see because our trainer card is, is so awful, but we got them in the top right. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a max raid now and catch a legendary. Uh, but we, we've completed everything with Wulu, as far as I'm concerned. So, GG. The cool thing here, right? Because we have the shiny charm, every Pokemon has a 1 in 100 chance of being shiny. You have a 1% chance on the encounter, and you encounter 4 Pokemon each time. So you have some very high shiny odds. I'm sorry, what is that? That's a Porygon. This is a Gen 1 Pokemon. Have you not seen a Porygon? The Porygon is just a Pokemon when they got lazy creation. I mean, there's some weird Pokemon that are like that though. Like Magnemite is a ball, and then Magneton is like three Magnemites stuck together. You know, Voltorb is just a ball as well, and then it evolves by turning upside down. <laughs> Grimer is a pile of sludge, and Muck is a bigger pile of sludge. Okay, what are we gonna get? What is it? 
Oh, it's a Lahia. That's cool. There is like a rule of thumb that like everyone is someone's favorite Pokemon except for Mr. Mime. And that's what you gotta understand on the internet. Even if you don't like Pokemon, that doesn't mean that no one likes it. Except for Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is my favorite Pokemon. Have you considered therapy? Mr. Rhyme is good though. Uh, Mr. Rhyme is great. I love Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Mime? Oh, I don't trust him. Okay, let's get it. And then we're gonna see if we got any shinies. Okay, it's a 1 in 100 chance for each of these to be a shiny. It's 1%. It's, it's pretty good. It's the highest possible odds in any Pokemon game I believe you can obtain. Grudagon? A Selgar? <gasps> oh! <laughs> First run! 1 in 100! Oh, the luck I have on these streams. Oh, we're adding this to the team. What do we call it? Custard. Yep, custard is very appropriate. I can't believe that the first one. So let's let's get the all the shinies together that we've now got on the team. We've got four over the course of the run. Like these aren't bad Pokemon too. Like Cupcake is probably the weakest one. Like this one is class. I I've gotten very lucky over the course of this run.